So there was a doubt from uh, for this question, a specific doubt. Uh, uh, two or three students repeatedly asked the question for Kerin Company. So I'm trying to explain that. So this Kerin Company we already sold in our regular sessions. Okay, uh, there was an um, very frequent question in order to calculate uh, the effect of cash offer and share offer after the acquisition from the viewpoint of the target company shareholder and uh, predator company shareholder. This is a very frequently tested question. Plus there was a surprise, surprising question uh, in order to calculate or advise on a suitable share for share exchange. In a normal question from the uh, every previous question, most of the case they provided with like three for every two shares or they provide with one for every five five shares in the target company one for four. The ratio is already normal case it is given, right? But we already solved this question, current company, we old, already solved this question without touching this uh, suitable share for share exchange, right? Do, do, do you remember that? We didn't consider the suitable share for share exchange. What I was uh, told that at point, I said, stick with the core what we learned. Definitely examiner will be asking uh, some uh, what, uh, surprising topics or surprising uh, questions. If you're stuck with someone, just assume, just put your own values and continue. Examiner doesn't want to make correct, to get uh, correct ev uh, everything. The pass mark is just 50 only out of 100. If you follow this methodology, try to attend everything. If you start with somewhere, go with your assumed figures or just skip it, go to the other requirement part, you will end up with somewhere 70 to 80 marks. This is how my students is getting every time good pass percentage and end up with uh, good marks or national or global ranks. But since there was a uh, repetitive doubt from the same question, I'm going to explain uh, how this suitable share for share uh, ratio is calculated by an organization. For that, I require a few figures, few figures from the answers. I'm assuming we already sold the figures. Okay, I require pre-acquisition values, pre-acquisition figures. Uh, Uh, value of equity of Kerin Company. Kerin Company. It is how much? Value of equity Kerin Company is 3960. From the question, okay. 3960. And value of equity of which is next company, Danton. Danton. Actually, uh, Danton is the target company, right? If I'm not wrong. Uh, Danton company. Kerin Company's board is keen to ensure that Danton's founders remain as directors. Uh, Yeah, Kerin Company is a uh, Danton Company is a target company. Danton Company is a target company. Yeah, so their value valuation see three nine. I'll I'll highlight it better for better. Three nine six zero is the Kerin Company's market value, and how much is the Danton Company value? It is one four seven seven point three. One four seven seven point three. Now required value of equity of combined company. Combined company. Mm, what is five four? Three seven point three. Not this figure, my mistake. Five nine six one. See five four three seven point. This is the value of. Uh, we solve this question. This is the value for. Uh, uh, Pre acquisition value. Pre acquisition value. Yes, Not this figure, right? My mistake. So this five four. Um. 
how it is 5961 in the post execution so no, no, I want 5437 is the company. total value. What is the figure for uh, Danton Company? 1477. Okay. Yeah. Combined company it is? 5961. 5961. Okay. We sold this, right? We sold this properly, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. 5961.7. Yeah. So additional value to combination is equal to post acquisition value minus pre acquisition figures. And number of shares they already have in the company. Number of shares they already have. Kerim Company is 750 and Danden Port. 140. 140. 140. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. We solve for, uh, we have to solve for cash offer and we have to solve for share offer. Hope we done, uh, just assume we done for cash offer, now we are going for share offer. I'll solve once again for share offer, okay? What was the uh, data given in the share, share offer? Early discussion between the directors suggests that it was a cash offer for 13.1. And uh, we are looking for and share for a share offer, which offers a thirty percent is acquisition for the uh, which company? Kerala yeah. company has asked therefore you to design a share for share scheme which will allow a thirty percent is acquisition premium. So acquisition premium we can easily calculate additional value, additional value towards. Towards there's a premium towards which company? Uh, Danton company, Danton company shareholder. We have to ensure a premium of how much? Thirty. Share. We have to ensure a premium of how much? Thirty. The premium has to be calculated 30. on the pre-acquisition value of the uh, target company, right? Target company. Hope you know that. Oh, Forty. Sir. Yeah. Then additional value towards the predator company, it will be always vote. It will be always vote. Unmute and ask. Also, unmute and balance from additional. Yeah, it is a balance, right? So balance. additional value towards Kirin company. What is balancing figure? 524 minus 440. So this is the additional value split between both of the shareholders in share for share offer in order to uh, give a 30 percentage acquisition premium to the shareholder now we need to know what will be the what will be the ratio of shares in order to get this much premium okay please do uh, continue with the same file together with me okay i'm going to start with the working note working note for for suitable suitable share exchange working out for suitable share exchange uh, we have kerim company kerim company and we have shareholders from danton company as well we have shareholders this is the entire combined company now if i if you follow this this is a combined company, okay. In share for share offer, in share for share offer, shares will be allotted to to whom as well to the uh, target company shareholders as well. Danton company shareholder, target company shareholders will also be allotted with shares, right? Do you know what is the number of shares in combined company? Number of shares. In combined company for Kerin companies existing shareholders, see existing shareholders, their shares are not getting increase or decrease. They are in total 750 numbers. This is not changing. We are allotting new shares 
for the new share, share, shareholders, which is coming from Danton shares. We need to know what how much number of shares should be allotted for Danton company for giving up. They are ready to give up how many shares? They are giving up how many shares in the Danton company? They are giving up 140, 140. shares. 140 shares they are giving up. We need to identify how many shares. If we are allotting 140 shares, assume if we are allotting 140 shares in Danton company, the ratio will be 1 is to 1. Assume we are allotting exact 140 shares in combined company, the share for share exchange will be 1 is to 1. Is it okay? Is it okay? Yes. Yes, sir. Share so exchange will be 1 is to 1 if we are allotting the same one, uh, 140 numbers. But we doesn't know what is the numbers. So we are trying to identify what what is the number of shares we are going to allot. Okay. So I'll cut and paste this. I will cut and paste this. Not this much further. I'll take three, four lines. Now tell me what was the pre-acquisition values? Pre-acquisition values of each shareholders. Kerim company shareholder had 3960. Similarly, 147, this was the shareholder's value of pre, uh, Danton company. Plus, they were allotted share of additional value, right? They were allotted share of additional value. They were allotted share of additional value. What is the share of additional value allotted to the Kerim company shareholder if we, sorry, what is the additional share of value uh, for Danton company shareholder if we are uh, going for a 30% uh, acquisition premium it was 443, right, it was 443, this is the share of additional value provided to the, provided to the Danton company shareholder and if you take share of additional value 81.21 will be the share of additional value uh, to the Kerim company shareholder. So after acquisition, after acquisition, previously Kerim company shareholders had a value of 3960 plus they are getting an additional value of 81210. So this was the share of value in combined company. Share of value in combined company. See, previously, this is the key figure, okay? This is the key figure. Previously, they had a value of 3960 plus they are getting an additional value of 8123. So, 4041, 4041 is the uh, uh, total value after acquisition towards Kerin company shareholder. Similarly, the uh, additional, uh, including the additional value, the total value towards Danton company shareholders will be their pre-acquisition value plus the additional value they are allotted. So 1920 is the uh, total value allotted to the uh, 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 Danton company after acquisition including the additional value. If you take the sum of these two figures, what will be the answer? Could you check and tell me? I'll wait for a few seconds. Do take the sum of these two figures and tell me what this figure represents. Check out in the uh, uh, in the initial figures, you'll get what is that figure stands for. If we add these two figures, you'll get it a figure which represents what figure? It is finance 617. This represents what figure? Value value of combined company. This is the value of combined company. Out of this, 4041 is the value allotted to the Kerin company. And 1920 is the value allotted to the Danton company if we provide 30 percent premium towards them. Am I right? Am I right? Yes, sir. Yes. Do you know this is the see this is the value of the total, right? This is the total, or we can say combined total of combined company. Total of combined company, okay. This is the figure for that. Total is finance 617. Do you know what's the total number of shares? No. After acquisition, we need to get to know of the number of shares of Danton company. How many shares we are all allotting to Danton company? That is also be required. But we know the exact proposition of these, these shareholders. 
we know that the exact proposition proposition of these shareholders as well right now let us see this is the entire value and this is divided into two category category number one shareholder category number two shareholder everyone is holding same share right everyone is holding same share if this category holding a share with five dollar this portion is also should be five dollar am i right see previously there were previously there were separate company shareholder after comp uh, combination they will be holding same sh same company shares so the price per share price per share will be same right are you agree with that point are you agree with that point could you please yes. confirm yes so we know that the total value the total value of category number 1 we know that the total value of category number 1 is how much 4041 4041 0.2 something plus we know that the total number of their shares are 750 can we calculate price per share using this figure will we will you be will we able to calculate price per share see they are holding 750 shares and the total value of that total 750 shares is 4041 will we will we be able to calculate the price per share yes it is yes, 4041 divided by 750 price per share is 5.38 price per share is 5.38 the same share is holded by the dandon companies also so here the share price here also the share price per share should be how much here also the price per share 5.38 5 5.38 now we can say that see we doesn't know the we doesn't know the price per share for the category 2 but we know that in total they have in total they have value of 1920 and per share we do, doesn't know the number of share but the per share is worth 5.38 using these figures can we calculate the number of shares to be allotted for them yes so the number of shares to be allotted to them will be 1920 divided by 5.38 we have to allot approximately 356.41 number of shares in order to provide them 1920 value in our company we have to issue 3566.41 so the ratio the ratio they will get they will give up how many shares they they will give up Dandon company shareholders have to give up 140 shares. They will get 356. So they will get 356 for 140. If you reduce this, 356 divided by 140, which is equal to 2.54 is to 1. 2.54 is to 1. Or else we can say this is approximately 5. If we multiply by 2 here, it is approximately 5. Similarly, we can multiply here 2. We can say 5 is to 2 approximately. Either 2.54 is to 1, this also you will get full mark. Or you can say 5 shares for every 2 shares. Is it okay? For uh, Did you understood the methodology? But do remember this, this is not a common question. Common question is to calculate the additional value in each cash offer and share offer. Did you understood? The, the way... The examiner answered here, it's a quite confusing methodology. Examiner's answer is quite uh, confusing. See, their answer is 357 shares for 140. What was our answer? 356. That's okay. That's a, that's a difference in rounding off. Okay. You got it? Those who had doubt. Yes, yes. Please do confirm everyone. Okay, sir. Yes, sir. What about others? Everyone, please do confirm. Yeah. So I'm going to stop this as well.